Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called A Wanted Inhuman. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including with this episode first premiere, but no spoilers in this video for anything that came after that. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and then there's some links to the videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive right in. So, yeah, they, they are hunting Lincoln, and, you know, they are authorized to use lethal force if necessary, or if they feel like it. And, yeah, you know, they they do the the classic American movie, TV show thing of, you know, bring in, you know, the, the rest of them. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! All of them, I think. And, let's see them... Yeah, um, so Melinda, uh, through Lance, is introduced to, I believe his character is called Spud, uh, yes, Spud, who, you know, gives Melinda a big bear hug, which... Is that what they call Aussie Trump? Nope, wait, that's something entirely different. And, yeah, so it is, to, you know, to get an introduction, it is Last Man Standing, which really takes me back to my first-person shooter multiplayer days. And, yeah, very cool when, when Lincoln is on the bus, this thing of, you know, it's this, I think that's a Marine, it's definitely some sort of, you know, U.S. military servicemen, and, yeah, you know, tell one of those that there's a terrorist they can stop, they're they're gonna do what they can to, to accomplish that, so, yeah, and, let's see, yeah, really appreciate the, the filter they put over some of the footage when, when Gemma is in the lab and such, like, really getting across this sense of, like, yeah, like her perception has changed because of being on the, the alien planet. And let's see. Yeah, and you know, Fitz notes that you know Simmons is self diagnosing, which means she's on the mend. Which, you know, I've learned a lot of things from the Blues Brothers. One of them is it's never too late to mend. And yeah, so John just breaks your heart. Um, always happy to see Daniel Roebuck in in something. You know, the yeah. If I had to, say, you know, the the my absolute favorite things that I've seen him in, other than this, are are Lost and the the. The first final destination, but yeah, you know he he showed you know the Lincoln calls him, asks him to make a really long drive. He seemingly doesn't even hesitate and and comes around as like you know Mikasa Suka. Well, yeah, once he gets Lincoln back to the, the place, he's like Mikasa Sukasa. There's a you know there's the bed there the the, the showers right over there. You know, here is you know I, I I took the liberty of writing down my my social security number my you know it's here's here's a copy of my birth certificate just uh, you know completely opens his his own to him and you know you have this thing like there's that line about you you know I know what kind of man you are or something something like that you know and then he turned you know then he had to go and turn on the television and. You know, the so the the Inhumans, as far as I understand, are similar to the X Men. I know about the X Men because I've read like dozens of the the books, in addition to watching all the movies. They are very much this metaphor for the the disadvantaged for for various minority groups, and you know th these days they're they're 
a, a number of times uh, they're they're read as you know basically being somewhat equivalent to the LGBTQ plus community and yeah you know here we have you know John knows Lincoln he's known him for years he is willing to to help he's willing to to do a lot to help but he hears some some really hateful lies you know we it Lincoln didn't actually kill people you know the the or hold on wait did he did he kill any did he kill any f you know federal agents anyway you know the the he's not a terrorist at the very least you know he was he thought he was fighting a war and he stopped as soon as it became clear that he had been misled you know but yeah john turns against him raises a weapon against him calls the authorities to take him in and yeah this is sadly you know it's yeah this is an episode that's actually much more relevant today than when it first aired in 2015 you know and the the you know and, and yeah and it leads to to lincoln expressing self-hatred you know so so really really excellent exploration of these issues and yeah you know uh, Gemma and Daisy talk and it, it is kind of cute you know Daisy brings her daisies and the the you know yeah Gemma explains you know some of the stuff that happened on this this other planet is is very difficult to talk about mostly because alien words always very difficult to pronounce you know just and yeah so the ATCU are the bad kind of federal agency you know they're they're out there spreading panic where shield is just trying to protect people whether they want it or not using surveillance and just yeah the show really does not hold back when when doing government propaganda. See, the ATCU, they're the ones that you should be hating. Trust other American federal agencies. And, yeah, Lance has to fight Spud, which I feel like they've done that twist a lot. N not this show specifically, but, like, across various... American TV shows like, oh no, I have to fight this person. I thought I was fighting someone I didn't know or have any emotional connection with. I wonder what um, I don't know. Why did they why did they write it like that? Is it because this means that there's more of an emotional connection to the fight, so it's not just empty action calories? You know, it's I can appreciate, you know, how how would characters in this media know? It just kind of, I just can't help but chuckle at it as all. And yeah, it is a really great fight. And let's see, yeah, you know, there there are a number of young men who who you know scream to high heavens about their being a crisis of masculinity, mostly because women don't do every single thing they say anymore, and they consider that the fate worse than death. You know, sometimes they're like, oh, but who, what, you know, I don't know what women don't want me to do. Here's the tip. You know, you see it with, with Melinda May and these, uh, you know, Hydra agents, or are they Hydra? Wh whatever. You know, they refuse to take no for an answer that's bad and let's see yeah um, Lance says you know are, are you not getting tired because that was my strategy and I think the emphasis you know the, the word was is very important here and he gets out the the knuckle dusters and hits him several times and right in the, the face and yes that does take out Spud. I guess he's mashed potatoes now, and his his brain certainly is, is and our brains are whatever. And the the yeah, 
you know, you can see, like, Lance, he didn't want to have to kill this guy, you know. And I really like, you know, when, when he's being introduced to, to Hydra, he's like, I can't wait to, to meet the man behind me. You know, he's like, it just makes him more determined to, to take out Ward. And let's see, that brings us. So, so yeah, um, Daisy was betrayed. You know, the, the TV spot for this episode made that look much more severe than it ended up being, but I do appreciate, you know, we do still, like, it is this thing of, like, can Daisy trust the other S.H.I.E.L.D. agents now that she's inhuman? And, let's see, right, and, yeah, so, Fitz kept the reservation for months that is very very sweet you know just he never gave up hope that she would come back and it meant so much to him for them to to go to this restaurant I don't know if it's still technically a date I've before she went to the other planet it definitely had the vibe of a, of a date the way they were talking about it and yeah Daisy confronts Coulson, and yeah, you know, I, I appreciate this this tension between them. I, I hope it goes somewhere, but so far the show has been really great at delivering. And yeah, the post credit scene, <laughs> you know, we didn't have to see Bobby in like do, doing all these rehab exercises for, like there's maybe 20 or 30 seconds of a montage of her doing that I feel like someone working on this just really wanted to see Adrian Palicki get sweaty which fair enough and the the yeah you know she she catches Simmons you know examining the rock not Dwayne Johnson and you know she, she's like no, no no don't don't worry you know, it, it's, we, we know that it's inert. It can't take you back there. And Simmons is like, no, I have to go back. And I really, I appreciate that they left it that. Because I can't wait to find out why she feels the need to go back. So, you know, one obvious option is the idea that maybe she just can't. Maybe she feels like she simply cannot readjust to Earth. You know, the the, the gravity and the distractions and, and such. Maybe there's something back there that she has to, you know, maybe the, the thing that was killing her, she has to go back and kill it for some reason. You know, the, the yeah, there, there are various options. So, yeah, I, I quite appreciate yeah, great hook. Really looking forward to seeing that. And I think that is... So I checked the IMDb trivia. The only thing was the, the Nielsen rating, which, you know, I, I, it doesn't really matter to me today. But I think that might be about... Yeah, um... See. Right, right, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next with Lincoln. The fact that, you know, yeah, he, he ends up running and, you know, yeah. The, the, the ATCU guy was actually going to try to take in Daisy when the, you know, when Lincoln escaped. And, yeah, we're again seeing some really great use of superpowers, him, like, electro, you know, yeah, attacking the floor, and the time he stops the bus, these various things. And, yeah, and at the very start, when he covers for his escape with the big towers that he electrifies. And I think that is... 
Yeah. So, you know, it's not that Lance trusts Spud. Trust is a strong word for a psychopath. He's a murderous thief who I once saw bite a man's nose clean off. But he'll get us through the door.